Welcome here to Own Delaney Park in Taupua. The big game coming up at King Country Rams versus South Canterbury. Peter McCulloch with me in commentary. Andrew McCulloch speaking. Peter McCulloch, welcome. Excited about this one. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It's, it's great to see South Canterbury in Taupo. And it's great to see if the King Country Rams can come back from last week's heavy defeat to West Coast. Yeah, we've all talked about that. So Bunnings Warehouse, Heartland Championship, second round. Peter, we'll run through the teams. If you can run through the South Canterbury team for us, please. So if we start with South Canterbury, um, in the front row, we've got Toko Fakatava playing out of the Waimati Club. Number two, Connor Anderson from the Celtic Club. And number three, Tafia Halu Upia playing out of the Harlequins Club. In the locks, we've got Etienne Van Zeel playing out of the Tamuka Club. And number five, Tavuta Ahukavi playing out of the Manukau Rovers. And in the loose forward trio, we've got number six, Paula Mole. Uh, we've got number seven, Finlay Joyce. Paula Mole playing out of the Waimati Club. Finlay Joyce, number seven, playing out of the Tamuka Club. And Sio Kakala at number eight, playing out of the Harlequins Club. If we move to the back line, Number nine, co-captain, we've got William Wright, playing out of the Celtic Club. First five, we've got Sam Briggs, playing out of the Celtic Club. In the midfield, we've got Paula Fafita, out of the Harlequins Club. And number 13, Zach Mackay, playing out of the Kayapoi Club, out of the yep. um, Canterbury. Um, and in the wings, we've got Pila Matakawanga, playing out of the Celtic Club. On the right wing, we've got Clarence Molly and Juicy 14 from the Waimati Club. Number 15, Zach Saunders from Celtic, 15. In the reserves, we've got number 16, Junior Fayavi. Number 17, Faka Tailiga. Number 18, Grayson Dale. Number 19, Salomon Lavaka. Number 20, Loni Tumuhuni. Number 21, Fayali Aisua. Number 22, Miles Medlicott. And number 23, Lisiati Falau. Thank you, Peter. A couple of toppies there to pronounce. So the King Country Rams are coming off a loss against West Coast. So we have in the front row Ben Popperwell, Liam Rowlands and Kerry Cornelius Paenga. Locks, uh, Eli Winders and Jade Barlow. Eli Winders out of Hamilton, Marist, Waitomo, Barlow. Lucy's, we've got Tamaki Kopa. Carney Dunster and Caleb Foot. Halfback first by we've got Zane Tipping and Quinn Collard. Quinn Collard out of Hamilton Marist, the Loney for the Rams. Midfield pairing of Cam Robinson from Topor and Josie Fatu Mali Molly out of Topor Sports as well. Wingers and fullback, we've got Sisisa Fasaki uh, mixing it up a little bit on the wing. Baven Brown Jr. and Zach Wickham Darlington out of the Bush Club. Reserves for the Rams, we've got Sam Robinson, Nick Barnes, Pihana Estel Harris, George Burkett, Leveson Gower, Bradley Jeffries, Kane Tamo and Kieran Rollison. So that rounds out your King Country Rams team. Peter, just uh, we talked about it in the early game, very, very cold here at Owen Delaney. Yeah, it's been starting to pick up a bit, it's starting to cool down quite severely actually. Um, notice in the uh, King Country Reserve, it's a 5 2 split, was it? Yes. Five forwards, two backs. Yes. Kieran yep. Robinson and Kane Tamu, basically the two backs only in there. Yeah, no, without being rude about Kieran Rollison's pace, there's no outside back. No, no outside no, back correct. there. But um, then you've got Cam Robinson, who and, can probably, and, and, and Mully Molly. Mully Molly, who can play on the wing as well. So, yeah, so South Canterbury uh, come off a, a wing 48 14 over Horofanua Kapiti last, last week, and King Country are lost to West Coast down in Greymouth. 22 games in a row, South Canterbury have won. Uh, probably going favourite. Yeah, I guess you could say that, Andrew. But it's, I suppose it's early days in the Heartland um, comp. Everyone's sort of feeling their way in the first couple of couple of weeks. So it'll be a really good um, idea to see where King Country are, I guess, and where South Canterbury are at the end yeah. of the day too. Um, Mate sponsor for King Country, TLC Insurance. Uh, great supporters of King Country Rugby and match day sponsors, Penny Homes and Paparata Farms. So... Great, to, great to have them on board sponsoring this game here in Topo. Not a not a huge crowd uh, here so far, which is a bit disappointing. But it is very, very cold down here. Very, a uh, lot of people in the sponsors uh, function downstairs. It was it was humming. 
Um, so that's that's good to see. Good number of sponsors that have been gathered together by uh, Kurt McCorkin and his crew uh, for the King Country Rugby. So coaches, um, very experienced coaching lineup. The coaches for South Canterbury, Nigel Walsh, Sean Breen and Chris Gard. Nigel Walsh, hugely experienced, in fact, Heartland 15 coach. Um, and the King Country coaches, Peter, pretty experienced as well, aren't they? Yeah, experienced players, yeah, Aaron Dunster, Charlie Hubbard and Gene Waller. Um, all three played a lot of rugby um, and probably, would it be fair to say, in their infancy and in a coaching setup? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not privy to, you know, Craig Jeffries being um, ousted uh, a few weeks out from the the start of the season, but yeah, Dunster had been involved with the coaching setup. up um, he, He's taken over the coaching, Charlie Hubbard's remained, which is cool. Um, and Gene Waller's come in and he, he's a very experienced, as you say, experienced player. Uh, played a lot of good rugby um, and a very good coach club for the club team here. So great to see. Not far away from kickoff here. Um, obviously, huge ask, huge ask for the Rams um, to, to get up on this one. Um, South Canterbury are, are fearsome. I was down at the Meads Cup semi final, which they played last year. Um, King, uh, South Canterbury won 76 9, but they're a very, very, very well drilled team, the South Canterbury team. Well coached and they are big, big boys. Yeah, it's a dry track too, isn't it? So um, I guess it, it, we'll be looking at a, a, a good, fast game, I guess. It, it's like we're at a rock concert, isn't it? Is it? Rather. Yeah, I've got a speaker right behind me. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, the players are coming out here. Um, William Wright, 74 games, New Zealand Heartland 15, 2022 20, lead South Canterbury team out. Very experienced halfback, very, very good player. Black and green, we've talked about it, Peter. It's a stunning jersey, it's imposing, isn't it? It's an imposing jersey, isn't it? It's a big number eight going out there. Sua Kakala running out at the back there. They um, look a very, very well-proportioned unit, don't they? Dare I say, you say number eight looks big, but he kind of gets in among that, <laughs> among that team, and he, uh, he he doesn't look any bigger. They're, they're a big, big crew, so there's a lot of work. Here we've got the Rams coming out, led Come out by... Rams. Talisman skipper Liam Rollins. Love the love the maroon and gold. Love the stripe. Yeah, it does yep. look good, doesn't it? Yeah, looks really good. Love the music. I hope these boys are up for it because they've got a huge, huge ask here. 16, Sam Robinson just getting a bit lost which uh, <laughs> which one to go to, the hooker, the reserve hooker. Um, but yeah, this is a big, big game. So, Peter, just, just going through, uh, I don't know too much about the lone players um, for Rams. Eli Winders, a lock out of Hamilton Marist. Quinn Collard, uh, obviously played last year for the Rams. Very, controlled things really well. So, great to have him back as a loney. Yeah, uh, exactly. It's good to have it. Especially in a pivotal position like first five, I guess, is where you want your experience and your lone, lone players to look to dominate from. Look, look for Cam Robertson outside him. He's a dangerous, dangerous runner and a really good organiser in that midfield. He can also slot back into fullback and very happy under the high ball. Yeah, he, he's the kind of the backline um, reserve, isn't he? he yeah. he's, he's the utility. So we've got uh, King Country playing right to left. They've got the ball in hand, playing into a pretty stiff northerly breeze. breeze. So we're, we're away. Oh, I thought Collard had hurt himself from that kickoff. So the ball taken in there by Mackay, I think, from South Canterbury, just uh, hitting it up here. The South Canterbury love the green and black, green and black jersey, old traditional colours. Good to see. It's feeling each other out at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, they just they do look very, very organised. The South Canterbury team, I'd say, uh, King Country in for a big defensive day here. Going to be chasing some kicks in this first 40 minutes, I would suggest. Start. Oh, like yes, there's a chance here. Yeah. He's got a chance down the outside there. That's a brilliant break. Little chip forward. Caleb, Fo oh, cleaned up there. Nicely cleaned up by Sean Bruce. But there's a good start by Wickham Darlington. It was, yeah. He's a big, strong boy, isn't he, by the he, looks? And he showed some pace for a mm. big, big unit. So that was a, a fantastic start by the Rams. I like it. That's Caleb Foot. Um, turn over there. He oh yes, close, well yes. picked, Peter. I'm not sure who it's got Eli that. Was Windows. That? Windows. He had a he had a good grab at the ball. So yeah, well picked, Peter. So early on, we got a penalty. Uh, very kickable. You got to take the points into this one, don't I you? I think so. Yeah. 
<laughs> so just... I guess it was that, you know, the minute referees see that tunnel ball type thing trying to push between your, their legs, they've got to do it quick. If they don't do it quick, I think referees ping it. And you'll, you'll be very surprised by this, Peter. They're going for the corner. Now let's see how their drive is. Does, does feel like that wind has dropped a little? It does again, yeah, you're right. So Liam Rowland, hooker and captain. Um, Heartland 15 last year. Very good player, great leader, um, well respected, throwing I the ball I'll into the slime. I think they'll go to Caleb Foot down the back. Let's go for a drive off him around the back. Carney Dunster going off the back of the line out. Of course, they go to the middle, uh, but that's well set. But being pushed back by South Canterbury. Is that Roland at the back of the ball? Yeah. So oh, it's, it's collapsed yeah. down. The referee said that went down on its own accord. This is a good start by King Country. I'm very, very happy with this game. Why? That's Tony Dunster, is it? Oh! Is that a knock on or was it stripped out of him? C.A.R. have to say. Well, no, he, he didn't. Well, that, that's who I looked at immediately. He didn't He didn't even move. Was it Was it Dunster who had, had the crack mm. at the line? It looked like his ball was actually knocked out of his hand, stripped from his hand. Well, good, good start here by King Country. Very, very happy with that. First scrum of the game. All the fat cats have moved out of the corporate, uh, out of the corporate uh, area, and they're now on the up in the grandstand. A lot of, lot of tales spoken down there, as is, as is typical. All right, scrum time. So they'll need to clear this. So William Wright out of Celtic, the halfback, 74, 75th game now for South Canterbury, a, a real veteran of theirs. Good scrum, go. good scrum. Let's head up, head up there by Fafita. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice out, isn't it? It is. Ooh. Oh, Molly, Molly. No, no is. this is for C for Saki, Saki. Sorry, Cesa. So Cesa, interesting mixes between six, uh, seven, eight, and wing. <laughs> so um, yeah, good, to, good to He's see not him a out young there. Man, Cesar. No. <laughs> He's got a bit of veteran to him. Zane Tipping, another what you'd have to describe as a veteran of the of the team. Copa, don't know a lot about it. Copa out of Wider T. Good to see Wider T players in this uh, Ram squad. There's Quinn Collard just dancing round. Good good start from the Rams, isn't it? To the wind. There goes Muli Mothe. So again, um, like we said, Nigel Walsh, the coach of South Canterbury, also involved with the Heartland coaching. So um, you know, good for these players to get their name up in that national yeah. national thing as well. Tipping foot, um, rolling. Somebody's got this Cam Rowland, Cam Robinson, Peter, just uh, stepping away, pushing away. He's put on a lot of weight, hasn't he? And he's um, he's a different player with that that extra size. He's a crossfitter on under the impression. He's into CrossFit, so not cross dressing. No, no, okay. not yourself, Andrew. Oh, just out on the pool. Still that wind, look at that flag on that touches touches flag. Yeah, while well, the wind may have dropped slightly, there's still probably a fair bit up there, isn't there? Yeah, we, we caught it a fourteen point wind in the curtain razor. Um and I, I think we can stick with that. Yep. I think if King Country can hold hold in this first half. Five minutes gone, this is a good start. Very, very happy with the start. Tipping will be chatting away, won't he? Yeah. Half back, um, very, very experienced. Zane Tipping, 66th game today. A bit of abuse in there too, <laughs> no doubt. Come on, hold that. Oh, just bobbling ball. Not lost forward there by, by King Country. Straight away, you... You sort of see the difference from the Coonrays. They're playing more flat, aren't they, the back line, and sort of playing at the advantage line. Oh, this doesn't oh. look good. Is he there? Will that, will that bounce go? He's lost it forward, thank goodness for that. So that was a big break. Is that tipping, just getting back and covering there? Go wide, go wide. Don't that panic. Advantage. Don't panic. Oh, they're playing. <laughs> they're really playing, playing in front of their posts, aren't I they? Guess, yeah. I mean, they just lost, just lost 70, 70 yards, but yeah, they're obviously, uh, obviously all out attack is, is uh, the policy of Aaron Dunster, the coach. Ironically, himself not a great attacker. Oh, there's a more of a more of a physical hard man. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, holy moly! There's a lot happening. Van Ziel out of Tamuka. The uh, the lock charges. Tipping's kicked down. 
And what's he playing here? He's playing a scrum to South Canterbury. Six Any minutes. idea on that? No. No, sorry. There's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew McCulloch, not so expert comments. Lot to say, not a lot of knowledge. Okay, so they're going to go number eight on number eight going back. right. Yep, it, lo it looks perfectly set up. Fourteen, we've got uh, Molly Clarence Who's Molly there, on Tomaki, the wing. Tomaki Corp is going to have to have it. Takala, the number eight for South off Canterbury. No, uh, the scrum off too quick because you scrums held well. Scrums held really well, especially with two men off. Oh, that's a good. Good tackle, he did well, didn't he? Number six, he Cooper. Because he's a big boy. Is that a Tried to no, held up, held, held up. up. So really impressed with Copper there. He, uh, he had the Tamaki Copper. He had a lot to do, didn't he, Peter? And he uh, defended that well. Got off, just got round the ankles. I think I give credit to the uh, the rest of the six that were left on there. Foot was off. Copper was off. Oh, I didn't see Foot was Foot standing. Foot was he, standing he was up as well, too. was it? Yeah. yeah. It looks like Foot might be. He can't be cramping. He's only been going seven minutes, but <laughs> it'll be that would be a no. bit devastating if he something happened to him. It's a nice fifty metre that's on a, the fly. That's a good kick. I assume that was Collard. So again, number five. This is the uh, Ahu Kobe out of uh, Monaco Rovers. So Auckland and Port. He's a long way from uh, he is, isn't he? home, isn't he? So those who don't know, your Heartland, you're allowed up to four import players, three imports and one. Um, player of origin, so uh, King Country Rams are just operating with two out of Hamilton Marist, and um, looks like South Canterbury are operating with a couple, one out of Kaipoi and one out of Manukau Rovers, so um, very technical. Uh, so are you saying that King Country aren't playing a player of origin at all? No, looking at that, no. no. So they've just got two loans, so there are two spots still available if they were able to get outside players to come and play for the union. Josh Law doesn't... Um yeah, Josh Lord He's not France, isn't he? Is he? Yeah, he'd, be good, he'd be a good fit. <laughs> he'd be a pretty handy player of origin. He had one club game for Taumaranui Districts this year. Father um, father coaches, Matt coaches Taumaranui Districts. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling Kurt McCorkin to do some work and yeah. give Josh Lord a run. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's lost board there. Cam Was that Robinson? A, yeah, that's a unusual mistake from Cam Robinson. Don't know if the pass was that great though, it was up around his ears. Probably a little behind him. South Canterbury team look reasonably imposing, don't they? When they get hands on ball. But they've got to get over the line. I've got Mully, all the Mully Molly is a big boy, isn't he? Yep. Centre. He certainly is. Those are, those are big shorts he's wearing too, aren't they? He was mightily impressive in club rugby this year. Yeah, it's good to see Cam Robinson has uh, kind of flitted with the Hawks Bay rugby for a little bit and um, wasn't going to play representative rugby, but great to see him back uh, donning, donning the King Country colours. His parents will be here supporting them, great supporters of the rugby. Oh, nice tackle. That's a good, good hit. Yep, that's Cam a Robinson good tackle here. on Fafita there. 15, Zach Saunders, another one who's been around this... Uh, South Canterbury for a long time in the fullback. Loose forward trio looks pretty imposing, doesn't it? The six oh, there's oh. Unset. Who have we got there? Cam, Cam Robinson. Robinson. Has he got the pace? He's going he all the way. He will have. He's got 20 metres to go. He's not getting caught. Cam Robinson under the post. I hope he put that ball down he properly. Did. He did. Oh. He jammed it, it I think. It, it, more so it, than bounce. Oh, it jammed fantastic came there. Cam Robinson with a... Oh, how many metres was that, Peter? 75, he'll, he'll say yep. 95 by the end of the night, so but that is fantastic, so number, number 12, Cam Robinson, the try scorer there, fantastic, we'd just finished talking about him, he'd made a little mistake, dropped the ball going going forward, but drifted onto that attack, woohoo, 5-0, Rams ahead, into the wind. That's a, you know, that's a great start for them, isn't it? 11 minutes gone, it'll give them some confidence. Yeah, it did, it did look like he was treading water for a little bit, didn't it? No, he's, he's got his father's footsteps. <laughs> Small. <laughs> he's a little slightly quicker than his father, to be fair. And a lot uh, skinnier than his father. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, he's got some wheels, Cam. He's got some real wheels on him. No, that's, I'm happy with that. That's a great start. So Quinn Collard just stepping up, and that 
my friends, is 7 0. 11 minutes gone into the wind. That is a great start. They have an injury over here with South Canterbury, too. First try of the afternoon to try and get that Oakie number for you. Yeah, oh, he's not looking in great Cameron nick either. Robinson, they did well, didn't they, Peter? I mean, as we said, you know, we had uh, Copper defending that uh, number eight, attacking yep. down this far corner, and then five minutes later, what got the number, Peter? No. Oh, yeah. We'll have soon. He looks as though he's coming I'm, back I'm going 11? Yeah, I think it is 11. No, I don't think it'll be 11. 10. 10. So that's Sam Briggs. Yeah, he does look sore, doesn't he? You want to be yeah. losing a first five in your first 10 minutes, would you? No, and he is a big looking first five. Oh, What's he going to do? He's got his. <laughs> comes back from injury. No, he's going to run it out. number eight looks dangerous. Is that who's is that running near the eight? Yep. Got to make those first up tackles, don't oh, we? Number one, lost the ball cold. forward. Fakatava. I wonder if he's any relation to Hawks Bay Fakatava. Malau Fakatava. Toko Fakatava. Um, yeah, so number one lost the forward there. Yeah, Peter, you're talking up. Kakala, uh, number eight. Yeah, no, the um, Paula Mole and Kakala look as though they are full of running. And I, for one, wouldn't be stand, wouldn't be standing in front of them. So seven 0 twelve minutes gone. TLC Insurance, major sponsors of King Country Rams. Great to have them on board. You can see going on the live stream all the sponsors of the uh, King Country. Lots and lots of sponsors coming forward. Uh, fantastic year last year by the Rams, getting to the Meads Cup penalty. semi-final. Um, they'll be keen to replicate that this year. Penalty there, scrum penalty. Any time for the Rams at, you know, penalty like that, into the wind. It's another two or three minutes. At just watching <laughs> just watching the screen, just watching tipping. Just full of talk, just uh, always opinionated, always driving those forwards. Um, very, very, very handy player. So like you see there, you know, good kick, but uh, only, only got 15, 20 metres, so... Rollins to throw this ball in. A lot of hoodies, a lot of beanies around today. It's, yeah, there uh, is, isn't there? Uh, I was speaking to former uh, King Country great Dan Lofer. Uh, the idiot was in shorts. Yeah. yeah you well, that's you, a loafer, isn't it? You can't put brains on some people, can you? No. Just silly. And he was cold. Okay, so it was eight again. I was at six. Was that Molly driving it forward? Oh, there's a big charge here by number three. That's Hello Afia. Oh, yes. Oh, another one. Who do we think that was, Peter? Yeah, not too sure, sorry. I was watching the pass coming out for the first five. First five, uh, Sam Briggs looks like he's shaken off that injury. No. Oh, well, this, is a, yeah. this is a kicker's nightmare, isn't it? Middle of the field. Nah, Collard will be all right. Don't you worry about Collard. Going into a slight wind. Hangs up a bit, doesn't it? That's, that's 20 not bad. Meter. So this is good, 14 minutes gone, strong, strong win, 7-0. Rams are leading, intercept try by Cam Robinson, number 12. So a very, very good start. All right, what have we got this line? Yeah, yeah it looks like, yeah, Caleb Foot will be probably one of their targets, eh? Yeah. Nice throw there by Liam Rollett, Molly Molly, oh, Ooh. that is a shocking. <laughs> There's not much we can say about that pass. Right. Uh, that was a Give shocking. <laughs> He's down on his knee, on his haunches, he knows it. <laughs> Molly Molly, he's not, I wonder if those shorts are just a bit tight and he couldn't swing properly. I think he was aiming for the South Canterbury bench to try and take someone out of that because he just about hit them. <laughs> yeah, Molly Molly, not, not one of his finer moments here at Taupo Owen Delaney Park. Nice to see some of the... They come uh, for it with a big hit. Some, oh, not straight, there's nothing really going right for South Canterbury no. at the moment, is there? They're just looking a little bit... A little bit rattled. Rattled, yeah. So, prop the side, is it Popper well the side? Yeah, gosh, a King Country are dwarfed, aren't they? When you look at the um, forward packs, uh, there's some size in that South Canterbury. Yeah, like I say, well, I was down there last year at Waimati. Waimati? No, Pleasant Point at the semi final, Meads Cup semi final, and uh, they, they, they gave King Country a lesson, the South Canterbury team, and it's the same team, pretty much the same team. So this is re redemption time for this uh, Rams team. Oh, good scrum, King good Country. Good scrum, foot just controls that well, tipping just gets it knocked out, but 
dribbles it away. Oh, Cam Robinson is getting a lot of pressure there at second five, wasn't he? Handled that well, cool though. Customer. I think Molly finally got a pass to hand, which was nice to see. Not sure who that is. Is that um, Wickham Darlington driving through there out wide? Foot, nice inside pass. That's a Winders. good drive. Was that Winders? He'll stand out with his red headgear. Yep. Oh, oh there's Liam Rollins. Liam Rollins has made a break. Has he got another fin on him? He's oh, put good away. hands. And that, oh, he's just stopped short. Copper, brilliant offload by Who's Liam Rollins. Who did the tackle? They're not sure. Foot goes oh, wide. Oh, go right Yes. Ben <laughs> Popplewell. Number one, Ben Popplewell. That is fantastic. <laughs> Number one, Ben Popplewell out of Topol Mara. Second game for King Country. That is amazing start by Ram. So that is 12-0. 17 minutes gone. Liam Rowland's made a fantastic break. How many did he fend off? 14? Wow. Well, hey. You call it. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> and then just a little Jay rolling Barlow, in. Barlow, good run and just cut down. Was it Barlow or was it Copper? Barlow, I think. Barlow, and then a fantastic part by Caleb Foot. Yeah. Out wide. And Popwell, I don't think, was expecting it, but just showed fantastic hands, plucked it out, and dove over. Oh. Now, bearing in mind, this is into a semi stiff zephyr of a breeze, so. What's this for 14 nil? Yeah. 12 nil. 12 nil at the moment. Conversion to come. We just <laughs> <laughs> we just giving Lockie some maths advice because Lockie is thick. Very good on the camera, but useless yeah, Lockie, at maths. He, he hasn't kicked this yet. I hope you're not giving him the. <laughs> so Quinn Collard, 12 nil. Quinn Collard. This is an important kick. Keep that score oh, up. That's just a straighten kick. it up. That. My dear friends, it's 14 0. Rams over South Canterbury. This will be sending reverberations through the Heartland uh, Championship. This is a great start. It's a great start, Andrew. Early days, early yeah, days. Yeah, don't get too excited, Andrew. Don't get too excited. All right, Lockie, sorry for the number of scores you saw up there. Lockie's struggling. He still thinks he's uh, doing league scoring here. Oh, there's another chance for a break. Carney oh. Dunster comes through from nowhere and takes the ball out of the South Canterbury's hand. Caleb Foot, I'm liking him at first receiver. He's yeah. causing problems, isn't he? Get that all year for Pew Pew. Oh. oh. I don't that. think they See, I'm a bit lost there. Like, there was a little bit of advantage. Why wasn't he playing up? True. Who was that who knocked that off? Yeah, no. Foot, was it? Yeah, I must say. Ah, well. sorry, Barlow. Oh, yeah. Barlow. Don't you, don't you, not pop a wall from here out of zero, Peter? No, it's more. Caleb Foot. Keep an eye out, Caleb Foot today too. He's been fantastic all, all club season. Yeah, in the Heartland 15 last year. So uh, Nigel Walsh, coach from South Canterbury and Heartland, he'll be keeping a good close eye on them. Saw them talking earlier, so uh, Foot no doubt will be just saying, "Hey, I'm playing pretty well. Don't forget me for New Zealand selection." Also keep an eye out for the number nine battle between William Wright and Zane Tipping. Yep, yeah, Wright, very experienced. Well, so is Tipping, both experienced yeah. campaigners. So they, their back line looks very fluid once it gets going, doesn't it? But, oh, that's a good tackle out wide. That was... So that was Baben Brown, oh, Baben Brown oh, Jr. out wide with that tackle. Probably just a little bit too anxious to get up and knock over those big boys. What do they do here? Do they get themselves on the board? So 20, 20 minutes gone. South Canterbury, zero. Rams, King Country Rams, 14. They're taking a scrum. It's, it's a like cool, isn't it? Yeah. With TLC Insurance, Specialist Heavy Machinery Insurance since 1998. Major sponsors. Kick him to the 22 and put on drive from there, maybe, don't they? Yeah, they're giving away a lot of yardage, aren't they? Oh, I have to say, Peter, the beanie has made a huge difference to, good to my warmth. My corduroy cap is keeping me <laughs> nice and warm. And you would look good at the 70s party as well, isn't it? Thank you. OK, so a bit messy here at the back, number eight. It'll just So what just does they achieve from here by having a scrum there? Nothing. And Dun Oh, I thought Dunster was on it. it. Dunster's on it. He you was on it. it. Yes. And then a lovely hit there by... Uh, 
by Windows as well. I'm loving that Carney Dunster. He had two grabs of it. Um, and yes, the referee saw it. Beautiful play, Carney Dunster. One game away from his blazer, old Carney, his 24th game today. Nearly, yeah. nearly, or well, blazer time next week. Um, and that'll be at Tom Aranui. Be fantastic. Uh, great King Country name, Dunster. Um, Carney playing very well. Had a great club season. No nepotism there. I think he's in this team on merit. Yeah, I think so, yes. All right, got to get secure this ball. The enrolling, very good line outs right here. I think I think we're going Windows. I think Windows or Foot is our uh, is our go to target here. Yeah, it looks like oh, yeah, Foot, lovely movement, lovely take. Collard just who's had a net ball up? Um, uh, Copper. Copper, yep. Oh, he got them. Do you know? But unlucky, yeah, that's, that makes more sense, doesn't it? There's yeah. so much wind there. Oh, get a bounce, oh. get a bounce. What's happened to this ball? It's got a... <laughs> oh, oh, lovely work, play, Wigan Darlington. That's my left. Oh, yeah, there's no panic there. And, oh, oh. <laughs> well, Liam Rowland's <laughs> just shown why is a hooker and not first five. Um, but, hey, he did well to get back there. There's a little bouncing ball. Molly Molly got a little bit pressurised and... Uh, Somehow, Liam Rowland was responsible for kicking it out. Surely, if you're South Canterbury, you would just be pummeling this bottom corner. Oh, oh. Peter, yeah. There's my man. Yeah, with right. that, is, that is very simple, but you can hardly be critical. Kakala, who the hell would want to tackle him? That is hitting at pace through the gap, straight through. Number eight. Sio Kakala scoring that try out of the Harlequins Club, South Canterbury. 14-5, soon to be 14-7 I'm picking. That might give him some confidence. Yeah, a little bit yeah. against the run of play, but wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was. But, uh, yeah, he's... Uh, he's making his way back, he's a big boy. Yeah, he's a big unit to stop. Not sure, not sure who missed the tackle, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not easy. So crowd numbers here, Peter? Seven hundred, five hundred. It's a bit hard to see. There's there's a few floating around, but slightly less maybe Andrew. Yeah, bitter, bitter. Well, actually, when you look around in the crowd and the stand there, it's quite a few. Yeah, people. bitter day here in in Taupo. Those miserable non-sun meant to rain in a couple of hours. Conversion there by William Wright. 14-7, 24 minutes gone. The number eight, Kakala. So do from William Wright. So do have to remember that it's uh, they are into Rams are playing into a, a relatively strong win. So um, oh no, do we see Caleb Foot coming off? Oh Peter, well picked. Caleb Foot does look like he's lumping a little bit now. That is a huge blow. Oh no, it will. Oh no, sorry. I <laughs> well no, I I thought the same. Must have been just getting attention just as they were going back. Collard just... Yeah, he's running all right. He's right with a little, lovely little... Oh, is that a... Oh, that is that a fantastic <laughs> kick. <laughs> he did that well, didn't he? Outside he did. the... Remind me of you, used to kick, Peter. Just yeah, a little outside kick. the foot, banana kick. Rolled it out, tipping, couldn't do much, so... And it was... I thought it was a 50-20. No. It was. Oh, it was? Yeah. Well we done, actually, right. Yeah, I didn't a 50-20, 50-22 is not a massive kick, is it? Well, he, he didn't put much in there. Oh, here's oh, the eight no. again. They've got to go low on him. You go low on him. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy from up here, Peter. Easy. That's good defence. Uh, uh, they lost a four. That must be an accidental. Oh, I was going to say it should be an accidental offside or offside. But tap and go. Some, will they tap and go? you got to, don't you? Oh, he, yep. didn't. he did, he moved that, no, he didn't. Oh, oh, oh expert comments here by Peter McCulloch. Picked, picked that the ball wasn't released with the foot. Released it from his hand. Well done, Peter. That is some, that's why we are paying the big money for Peter to have commentary there. Quite Other right. things he picks up. So, 14-7, 25 gone. I would like one more one more score by, by King Country, but it's not that easy, yeah, is it? it's pretty hard, I'd imagine, into that wind. 
We will try and give you some, um, we've got a person on standby to give us some scores from other Heartland games around through at half time, so we'll update you with those as well. But King Country have right. been under the pump, haven't they? Under the pump for the last Scum's 10. Scum's actually gone pretty well, though. So hasn't hasn't moved. Hasn't Very moved. impressed with Popper Will oh, and Cornelius Pena. <laughs> and they As we say, that's a massive scrum. And a knock on by King Country. Held up. So Is this did, foot, did Foot take that off and lose it? Yeah, he was heading back because it was a pretty tough pick. We were sort of just saying how well King Country had scrummed in the early part of this game, but that was a massive scrum from South Canary. Yeah, I do know. They, they're, they're significantly bigger, aren't they? Yeah. But hey, at the moment, King Country runs 14, South Canary 7. 13 to go. Wairaki Haulage just poking up on the screen. All right, right to feed the ball for South Canterbury. Number eight will go wide, right again. Corpus stopped them last time, but they were going open side. Good. Oh, the attacking players here. Is that Sporting? That's Morley. Oh, oh, is he over? Yes. He's over. <sighs> Probably went for the quasi intercept there, but just couldn't quite get there. Is that Matakai Ngonga? I think that was number, I'm pretty sure that's number 11. Out, out wide there from the Celtic club. 14-12. That, that kind of two opportunistic tries being closed up. But they have got a big wind. 14-12. Kick from the sideline here. He's got the wind coming over his shoulder, so... Well, this 28 minutes seems to have flown by, doesn't it? Yeah, like you, you said it right at the beginning, Peter, the, the step up from the, the Curtin Razor to this game, it's, it's definitely another level or, or, or four, isn't it? Yeah. The skill sets, the, the, the execution, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big, big step up. And this South Canary team, once they get into a role, they look like they could be <laughs> domineering in it, but King Country have scrambled well. The old day of charging the kicker's gone, hasn't it? No, oh, as they charge. Well, not really charging, but they're running as quick as you would. That has missed, thank goodness. So 14 12, Rams still hold the lead. 29 minutes gone. So 11 minutes still, 11 minutes still half time. would love to see the Rams go in with this wind with a lead. And he Dunster got a little bit of a flyer there. Didn't get picked by the... Oh, oh, Dunster. Now that's yellow straight away. He's gone straight to his pocket. Yep. Just that's unfortunate just, timing. No, stupid. Yeah, just a little bit over-enthusiastic, Carney, there. You'd see, in my opinion, he got a flyer to start with and then just didn't just didn't, didn't uh, look after that player in the year. Uh, yellow card, last thing. Last thing they need with a wind... Ten to go, so Carney, Dunster, yellow carded, unfortunate, well not unfortunately, sadly. So two, Connor Anderson, hook up uh, right, South Canterbury. Canterbury. And we've got ten minutes, so Carney, Dunster won't be coming back for the first half. Oh, I thought... Yeah, it's, it's, at the moment it's hard enough. They look like they're getting a bit of rhythm, don't they? Yeah, it's hard enough defending um, 15, isn't it? With, well, defending with 15, they don't defend with 14. There'll be some a uh, lot of work to be done by the Lucys. Yeah, they're spreading it very wide, aren't they? Very deep with their. Oh, oh, nice tackle there from Pasaki. Two, Anderson. Just, oh, just nice unlucky hands. there. Yeah, the foot just about attacking Willie right there with the the pass. Got a no lovely pass, isn't he? Yep, Joyce right. just hitting the ball up out of Tamuka. Luka Club. They seem to have lots of time, don't they? Country, good defence. Nice tackle there, not sure who drove. I think that was the eight got driven back. Oh, that's the Monaco Rovers, man. Just cut down, scythed down. Ooh, I feel a little couple of spits of rain coming. 
Three, so that's, that's a good run. That's you. hard yards. Doesn't look like a lot happening. Good tackle tipping. They've been defending now for a couple of minutes. Could Go be a oh goodness knows how many phases there, but it was it was a number. So what do you do here, Peter? Penalty or down a scrum, penalty or the uh, corner or scrum? Anything to go by? I'm guessing they'll put a scrum down. Yeah, one player off, so the one one player down. No, they're going to go line out. So why would they put a scrum down and? Yeah, good, good on halfway. Yeah, good well. call, Peter. Connor Anderson again, hooker throwing the ball in. But yeah, it, it kind of nullifies the eight's ability to drive, doesn't it? Mm, you know, the, exactly. Yeah. And oh, Foot gets up. Caleb Foot gets up and snaffles that out of the air. Great take, great. Don't know if he went up on his own or was lifted, but good work. Oh, Quinn Collard. <laughs> we might have an action replay of that <laughs> line out, eh? <laughs> yeah, Quinn Collard off his left foot. Uh, just sliced it a little bit, but uh, brilliant work there by Caleb Foot to get up. I assume, assume he got a good lift. So I'm picking they won't go won't go there again. Oh, Perhaps. they've got it again. And foot great. I'm not sure who went up first and got that. Possibly Winders got a hand to it. Perhaps that's a uh, clue of why they wanted to put down a scrum. Collard, <laughs> Collard, not enjoying, not enjoying being harassed by four South Canterbury players, but he did manage to get through. And there's Cam Robinson gets a that's clearance a away, clearance. and that is a good clear. Go but Wright's going to go okay. quick. 14 eight. Good tackle. Oh, they're in trouble though. They're in big trouble here. We did him on the outside, oh. didn't we? Stood him up and just. Oh, Marakaunga, a second try. Just one on one with Babe and Brown and just uh, did him. What have been Wickham Darlington? Wickham Darlington. Wickham Darlington just uh, did him for pace. Yeah, so there's a good clearance under pressure by by um, Robinson, but just uh, too quick, too slick. 17-14, South Canterbury. Seven to go, one in the bin, the Rams. Another tough kick, Peter. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they did, uh, South Canterbury did that pretty hard in them, though, didn't they? Two line outs on the five metre line, both snaffled by King Country. You know, is that, a, is that something that we look, look to down the track? We King Country think, yeah, we've got, we've got their line out. Yeah, and... <laughs> They've just got to keep some position and, and just get some get some uh, kind of territory. Okay, we're talking five minutes till the end of the half, and then they have the the luxury of a of a reasonably stiff breeze that they can get in behind and just knock to the corners. Yeah, but they just they just haven't had the ball, have no. they? Pretty sure if someone said, "Hey, five points down at half time, they'd take it." Kick, into the wind wide again so 17 14 south canterbury lead the rams who were up 14 0 after 15 20 minutes six minutes to go right. as we said carney dunster the yellow card on the bench half time right king country's mentality must be do not let them in in this half do yeah. not let them in good work match day sponsors today penny homes big building company around uh, topo and paparata farms Great to have them on board sponsoring today's game here at Topo. That's better. And is that the eight again? Oh, I think that's a prop. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they just, um, yeah, a lot of tackle. I'd, lo I'd love to see the tackle uh, tackle stats. King Country have made a lot of tackles this half. Good hit from behind there. Is that Molly Molly? No, that was Baden Brown Jr. BB. Oh, that's a yeah, little dummy. Full of running, in, aren't they? Dummy and go. Is that 13? Was that Mackay? Oh, oh, oh. If he didn't, well, maybe I didn't see it, but look definitely forward to me there. Yeah, they just uh, they control this position very well, don't they, Peter? Yeah, they do. Oh, the hard running. Fafita just running hard and straight. Broke through Caleb, that first tackle. Caleb Foot put him down. And another. Is it Foot again? That uh, was Zane Tipping helping in that tackle. Fakatava. 
Yeah, it's just relentless, relentless pressure, isn't it? Good ball got retention. The numbers, They've got the defensive numbers. Four minutes to go till half time. They like you say, Peter, they really the Rams really need to hold on. They're three points down, player down. Just need to hold on to half time. If they go in three points down, you'd be very happy. This is Jeez, the winner again. And there he is. Oh, they've managed to hold him this time. Oh. It's a Manukau Rovers, man. Ahuko Ahukobi. Ahukobi try their second game out of Manukau Rovers. That's it. That, that's number eleven, Matakaiango. Causing havoc, isn't it? Matakaiango on the left wing, just so hard to stop. I think that was Baben Brown just held him by his coattails and he was able to roll the pass into Akakobi. Um, look a little bit ominous, aren't they, with ball in hand. Yes, 22-14, South Canterbury over the Rams. Carney Dunster will be just ruining that, ruining that kind of uh, error in judgment, won't he? I have to say, um, Wright should get this over. He's had three three goes yeah. from exactly the same spot. Missed every time, so he uh, must be getting his uh, radar right. So Wright's 22-14. Two minutes to go till half-time. Just lining this up. Where's he going to put this one? Does it look good? And yes, this nice time, kick. radar is right. 24. Excuse the pun, Andrew. What's that? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ahu Colby, the try scorer. 24 14, not fatal, certainly not fatal. It's, uh, it's definitely no. stronger than a 10 point win, but. Um, to go, minute to go. They've got to get their hands on the ball. They do have to have some uh, hand on ball time because they haven't touched the ball now for about 10, 15 minutes. I've just been defending, defending. That'll be taking it out of the tank as well, I guess, too, won't it? Yeah. And it, 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 it didn't help, you know, that, like you say, that 50 22 from right, that, that one where he rolled it round, that, that kind of got them back down defensively. Here's a chance. He's a strong running. Yeah, Darlington. from Darlington. Yeah, just charging it up. He's a big unit, he too. He's a big unit. Out of Bush United, good to see Benny Dale repping. Molly Mully just standing very flat. He's been quiet in there, just hadn't had any ball, I guess. Yeah, just defending, defending. That Baben Brown Jr. on the far side. What's he saying there? Lost, oh, lost board. Not sure where that was, where that was lost board. South Canary coaches start walking out of the stand. Yes, they'll be very happy. They'll be happy with the last 20 minutes. I don't know about the first 20, though. Good so to see them under a bit of pressure. South Canterbury, Peter, a little bit like King Country, have had their periods of uh, being Premier Unions in New Zealand. Yeah, They've had a stint 74. in First Division, 74. Renfrew Shield Ram holders. Renfrew Shield holders in 74. Uh, had a stint in the early 80s in the First Division, a couple of years. Um, Dunster looks like his, his time is done. Comments done to come through on screen. Carlos Gradiana. No, oh, oh, that ball's just been lost by a foot cold in the tackle. Got, and got to stop them here. Taken away, was that Joyce, I think, number seven? Oh, that's an agricultural pass. Oh, oh. Yeah, here's Monaco Rovers, boy. Yeah, there's some defence to be done. Molly, Clarence Molly, 14, attacking the ball through. Oh, What's he done there? Oh, another yellow. What's that for? Slowing the ball down, just Slowing deliberately. Slowing the ball down, I would say. And Caleb, Caleb Foot. Foot. So this is a <laughs> double blow for... They might for want to swap each other a say. Yeah, so we've got two in the bin now. So Caleb Foot for slowing the ball down. Only for 30 seconds, I guess, and then yeah. they'll be back to 14 players. Oh, and why wouldn't you put a scrum down? Yeah. Hell, this is uh, just desperately trying to get Carney Dunster. Josh Standen, their match... Referee, or oh, yes, Takani Dunster does get back on. So, Dunster on after his 10 minutes, foot off for his 10. 
So very, very disappointing. Very hard to play this team with uh, with only seven, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Only seven in that forward pack, eh, Pedro? Yeah, exactly. What are they going to do here? So they pack two, two Lucy's, no number eight. That's what you got to do. You got to try and stop that number eight somehow. Oh, God, or do they just go for a, the Argentinian Bajada? <laughs> <laughs> Kakala looks like he's just going to oh, pass. It does surprise me. It does surprise me. When, oh, oh. Does it, Andrew? Does it really? Holy moly. So Zach Saunders coming from depth, juggling that ball through. Try the South Canterbury side. I was about to swear. 29 14. Right, Am I right with nicely, that? Nicely, didn't they? Have I got that score right or have I mucked that up? I'm guessing soon to be. Yeah. Soon to be 31. 29 14. So Zach Saunders out of the Celtic club came from depth. It looked like they'd uh, yeah, mucked it up a little bit. Muddled just... around and then flicked it on the inside, and Saunders came through from depth. Lovely try. 29 14. They've gone up a level in that last 20 minutes, didn't they? You need some glum faces on Heads the bench. Up, Heads up. It's uh, half time, it's conversion 31 14. We go into half time break. South Cranberry leading the 14 men Rams. Um, we'll come back in about five, uh, five, ten minutes, but uh, 31 14 here at Owen Delaney Park.
All right, we're welcome back here to Underlaney Park. Just a bit of a drizzle coming through quickly before the teams come out. We'll uh, get some halftime scores. Just uh, King Country Trailblazers, our Wahini, are leading Whanganui ladies in 19 17 and a half time. Peter, some halftime scores from other Heartland games. Yeah, sure. So uh, Thames, uh, in Thames Valley, we've got Poverty Bay leading Thames Valley 12 10. Ooh. We've got Wanganui leading Buller. Uh, that's down in Westport. That's 10-5 to Wanganui. Uh, in the East Coast versus Mid Canary, we're into the second half, and that's at Ruatoria. East Coast leading 19-8. Nice. Uh, down in Horofanua, we've got West Coast, who beat King Country last week, leading Horofanua Kapiti 27-13. Uh, here in King Country, we've got uh, South Canterbury leading 31-14, obviously. And then down in Wamaru, North Otago leading Wairapa Bush by 31 to 3. So oh. some surprising results in the um, Heartland. Yeah, as we said, it's the first two or three weeks you kind of get an idea of who's who's recruited well, who, who's got the goods. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's a tough one next week for King Country as well, Whanganui, um, over at Taumaranui. So it's, a, it's another big ask, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yep. Teams coming out. Let's have a look if there's any changes. Just the King Country boys just coming out. They have got a, a good wind. Down 31-14. Doesn't look like any changes at this early stage. Although I see 21. I do see Bradley Jeffries has come on. Looks like he's come on for Barlow. Jade Barlow, I would say. Yep. Yeah. So Bradley Jeffries, who, who was originally named to start, and then uh, him and Winders swapped um, at some stage. So, and of course Caleb Foot uh, on the bench for 10 minutes. So 31-14. So 17 points down, one man down, but a good wind. Can't see any a little bit of drizzle as well that might help. Can't see any changes at this stage in the South Canterbury team. So, um, yeah, uh, Bradley Jeffries out of Pew Pew Club. Um, 24th game now for King Country Rams. So, Blazer next week. He's had a pretty strong season too with Pew Pew, hasn't he? Yeah, he's pretty solid, Bradley. Not not the biggest not the biggest unit, but he will give 100, 100% every game. So, um, look, they need a good start, don't they, Peter? The Rams, they really need a good start. Hard to have a good start, player down, but uh, they really just need to have that ball down in that corner and just be attacking. What you saying, Tipping and Kunkola trying to drum the corners, I guess. Straight away, that's uh, um, Matakai Ongo, two tries. Two tries in the first half, a real yes, that's weapon. That's what they want. It was a real weapon to contain, wasn't he, the number 11 for South Canterbury? Is it? Maybe rolling on. All right, let's see how strong this wind is. It's just uh, yeah, no, Darlington, it, is it? Yeah, you'll banana kick this if, if I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, he didn't really banana it, but... Uh, touchy, I think touchy's diddled him about 10, 15 metres. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, right, right in front of... Uh, in front of us here, as we say, match day sponsors today, Penny Homes, uh, local builders here, Craig Wiley in attendance, manager, and Paparata Farms, Romney Sheep. Tell us about Romney Sheep, Peter. About the actual breed of sheep. <laughs> Anything? Nothing. So, here it's we a go. Hardy sheep. <laughs> oh, that's, that's better. That's, that's, that's what you've got to do. It's not going to be pretty. Oh, oh, look at that, another penalty. Penalty, it's not going to be pretty, but they've just got to do it, eh? They've got to be first to score. They just don't want any points against them while they've got foot in the bench, on, on the on the bench. Shall we say in the sin? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I struggled a little bit there, sorry, Peter. So it looks like Wickham Darlington's going to kick this one as well. Am I, am I missing something here, or has he just, just got a just big got a boot? boot? Yeah. Oh, we're going for distance of this wind. It's a nice kick. It's yeah, a great kick into the 22. No, that, that, no, that was definitely Collard who kicked that one. I don't know, it was Collard who kicked the first one too, actually. All right, so on the 22, Rollins to uh, put this ball into the line out. Oh, that's, a, that's under pressure. That's a great take. Oh. Look at that. Good drive on. 
Must feel like that wind's dropped a little yeah, bit, Peter. It does, doesn't it? No, here oh, it comes. Oh, that sharp service from Tiffy. Oh, what happened there? Lost forward. Driving there by Fusaki, I think, and just ball knocked out of his hands and all that good work just undone, undone with a, a loose carry. So we've also got to change South Canterbury, I think it's halfback Iosa. Number 21, Iosa on for uh, Willie Wright. Willie Wright, that, captain. that's a little bit of, that is a little bit of a surprise. Willie carrying an injury or something into half -time. Oh, I was looking for the, you can't see right, but yeah, Iosa. Out of Tamuka, out oh, of right. the Tamuka he's a, club. He's the first five. Uh, oh, is that right? That could be right. Right there, I think, actually. He's our eight, charging. He's a hard man to stop, isn't he? Kakala. Get on him, get on him. Oh, surely that's lost forward. Oh, not he pulled, pulled, pulled him forward, forward. yes. We're on the same page there, Peter. Good tackle. Good hit by Cam Robinson. That Cam Robinson, nice, nice tackle. Yeah, so yeah that's good. That's good attacking defence. I like it. So that, that was Copper. I'm impressed with Copper. He's, he, he does some dirty work, doesn't he? He's, he's in, the, yeah. in the... Who's that, Rollins, hitting yeah. that ball up? He's a workhorse. They're in Copper oil. Well. Uh, Crocker, aren't they, the South Canterbury? It's smothering, smothering defence. You don't, you haven't got a lot of time to react. Ah, uh, Popper well held up. Just while we've got that, so I can confirm Sam Briggs, number 10 for South Canterbury, is off the field. William Wright has gone to, from ten. half back to 10. And we have Bayale Asioa yeah. on to scrum half. Nice confirmation, Peter. Sammy Briggs himself, uh, experienced player injury, or... Ha, look at that, Karoi Fosaki. He's his brother, I'm guessing. He's our butterfingers. Oh, oh Karoi, that's, that's not that uh, it's not that nice about the reassuring your brother. Isn't or it, there's a big name from King Country, Albert, Albert up yeah. the Dam Busters. Yeah. Just uh, quickly, League Peter, watch the war uh, the Wawas last night, yes, Warriors. Yes, I did. Yes. They came, came home, it was a great game of rugby footy, actually. Yes, yep. Top four. Yeah. Big crowds, big crowds at the Wawa game. Okay, back to here though. South Canterbury just uh, doing what South Canterbury do, just hitting it up. We've probably got five minutes more foot in the bin. Going wide, get get wide there. You've got to come across here, Mother oh, Molly, which he does. Drop ball from Ahu Koba, that's a knock on. Oh, they drop it. I yep. didn't see it. It's right in front of the bench. Oh. Oh, thank goodness we had it. Yeah, hadn't quite rolled over the advantage. <laughs> Haven't talked too much, Peter, about uh, Kerry Cornelius Painter out no. of Tongaro United. He had a good club season. Big boy, big young fella. Yeah, he, he um, did some real damage in the club final. Yes. Tongaro United. He, he carted the ball up for 80 minutes. Yeah, we, we were much. impressed with him, weren't we? Yeah. But he, um, yeah, unassuming, uh, just does does the dirty work. Yeah. Don't, don't don't see too much flashy stuff from them. That's what you want. Scrum's held up well. Yeah, the scrum has held up well. Oh, sounds like a little bit of just thunder. <laughs> thunder in the background. It is very, very cold. Here. Good scrum. That's a nice attack. Oh, that's hard though, isn't it? You know, that, that, go that back flat one. to the line. And then, yeah, that yeah. It's coming up quick, isn't it? South Canterbury. Yes, Saints. very, very quick. Not a lot of time to react or do. The old no much defense. But, that's Wickham Darlington. I'm been impressed with him. He's made some good hard yards. That's be, where that, they want to be. Is right that Roland? On the advantage line. And again. Six, Look at that pass. Six minutes gone, second half. Probably four to go until we see uh, Caleb Foot out of the bin. That's good, Cam Robinson. So it gets a little gap, a little chance we get. Oh, Molly Molly. Cool. Molly Molly, go boy, go boy, go boy. <coughs> oh, got a bit of a cough on there, Molly Molly going, um, go, oh, no, not for, oh, yes, lost board there. Just panicked a little bit. That last pass, wasn't it? Yeah. Molly Molly, uh, yeah, had a great run there, beat four or five players, I'm not sure who, who knocked that forward, I don't know if you saw Peter, just looked uh, like they got I a bit panicked. Win, um, Winders? Without putting Eli Winders under. 
under the, the bus. Microscope, yeah, under the bus. I think it was just a. I think it was just a little bit panic pass from two or three of them. So Windows uh, out of the out of the Hamilton Maris Club, a uh, player, a uh, lone player. Um, don't know too much about him from the Hamilton comp, but uh, obviously spotted by coaches. Uh, well, Waller, Gene Waller knows a bit about a bit about locking. He's also been played for Maris, so uh, good in a good in for King Country Rugby. Yeah, be interesting to see if William Wright is a first five as a kicker, or does he play first five, Andrew? Yes, he plays a bit of club rugby at first five. Yep. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, somebody from South Canterbury will tell me if that's right. But I, I'm comfortable with that. Oh, it's a. Oh, he's bumped him. Oh, he's oh, lost he's it lost forward. The ball. Better that just that little bit of rain. Yeah, just that little be. bit of rain is just causing some handling problems. Caleb Foot getting very close to coming on. That's eight minutes there. He probably had a minute in the first half. So. Yep. Foot will not be far away from coming on. They need him. They need his size. They need his uh, his playmaking ability. Good start in the second half by King Country and Nut. Yeah, yeah, it They'll is. They'll be ruining those two yellow cards at the end of the first half, though, aren't they? Oh, that, that, that's done now, though. Trouble is, both their tries were very op op opportunistic, weren't they? Yeah. Um, they haven't they haven't actually created Maybe. anything yet, so. Be nice to see them get up there and, and create a try and, and put some pressure on. Uh, Peter, Caleb Foot doing something you can't do, some press ups. It's warming I can, up. I can stretch like that. <laughs> oh, Molly Molly, I like the way he's in. Oh, has he lost it forward? Will he get a pass away? No, he got a little, little pass away. Isn't that up strong? I do like him in close. I do like that. That's Windows just doing some hard, hard guards. Really, Windows. Yep. I mean, just as you say, Peter, just like a rocket, isn't it? There's no wind up, bang! On the premier halfbacks in the Heartland comp. It's a good run from Darlington. From Darlington, just making some yardage. Hold on, though. Looking, Darlington's hurt his ankle. Ooh. He's a bit injured. This, this, this is this is trouble. This is where I suppose they got Rollinson out wide, but no, this they is are. where you'd probably use Cam Robinson as a fullback. Yeah, they are a bit light. Hey, hey, we're ahead of ourselves. It may not be. Yeah, five-two split. Looks just like we just. Pihana, Estel Harris just warming up there. Yep, just seen the foot. No foot, still not on yet. He must be on yep. now. Yep, ten minutes. So Caleb Foot, that yellow card has finally gone off our screen. Been up there for twenty minutes. We had two. Yeah. So Estel Harris. Out of the Pew Pew Club coming on, replacing Cornelius Painter. Estel Harris, six games for, for King Country 2018 last played, so King, King good Country to have him back. Put pressure on uh, South Canterbury's line out. On that line out, you like that line out, yeah. Nice. Who was that, was that Jeffries? Jeffries yeah. driving that ball forward. Oh, you could see that a mile away. That was very, very obvious, unfortunately. Against the runner play, we've got the number? 14, I think. I'm going to say. Clarence Molly? No. no. Sorry. Kai, maybe. We just haven't got the number number for that. Maybe, I think that is Zach McCoy, McKay, Peter, out of the Kai Poi Club out of Canterbury. So yeah, you you could see that sitting up in the commentary box, couldn't you? You just could see that that uh, he, he always had eyes on that ball, and it was always going to happen. Number nineteen coming on, Solomoni Lavaka out of the Tamuki Club, he coming on, coming on, and uh, you know they don't get any smaller coming no, on, do they, they don't, Peter? Do they? So pretty pretty positive that was Zach McKay with that try. Thirteen. Zach McCry, Kai scorer, Willie Wright, who's gone to first five. Conversion. Conversion successful. Like we say, you know, King Country got their 14 points uh, fortuitously. Yep. Unfortunately, it's, a run, it's, it's a uh, the play. Zach yep. Zach to South Canterbury, to number 13, Zach McCry. Conversion successful. Let's have a look. Right. South Canterbury, stretch their lead to 38 14. 38-14, South yep. Canterbury over Rams, 12 Just minutes gone. that was Zach Mackay. Yep. yep. 
Well done, Peter. Oh, it's run away from him a little bit. It doesn't feel like no, that, that's, that's a score. That's, been, it? Yeah. So nothing, nothing to give up on yet, but uh, they've got to be careful because this could, this could blow out. They look full of running. Is that the eight again, Peter? Oh, here we go. Nice tackle tipping. Good last line of defence. It's just what a, they do well, isn't it? It's just a roll, roll after roll after roll, isn't it? Well, and that's what King Country do well today, scramble. We've got, we've got another one just jumping up off the bench. He getting ready to go on. Number 20, Leveson Gow, out of time. I don't know, he just tracks his 10th game for King Country. Um, no, don't want to sound nasty, but his, his size compared to... Uh, the, the number 19, Lavaka, who went on, there's a, a big <laughs> size difference, isn't there? It's just this ability South Canterbury have to create these big, big boys in their province. So Gow, not sure who's replacing. Uh, looks like the hard-working Tamaki Kopa. Kopa, yeah, he's, he's had a good game. Been impressed with Kopa. Kopa out of the Wider Tea Club, good. A good good effort there. Second game, so debuted last week. Second game for King Country. Well done, young man. Nice take there. Oh, is that not straight? That's straight. Ah. 38 14. Um, don't really know what to say. We keep saying that they've, they've had chances, but uh, yeah, they just very well drilled the South Canterbury team, aren't they? Mm, they certainly are. So right, what eight on eight in the scrum finally. So what do they do next week, Peter? Whanganui doesn't get e easier, does it? I hope like hell that it hoses down in Tamaranui for the week and it turns into a bog heap. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it's been you watch the temperatures with Tom Tomaranui. It's been zero minus three, zero minus <laughs> one. She's uh, we think it's cold here. She's a cold place here too. So South Canterbury's ball. 14 minutes gone, second half. South Canterbury defending, but uh, yeah, they've, they've romped away actually, just with they the, have the a bit in the last 20 minutes. Yeah, just uh, yeah, the defending with only 14 players is probably uh, just taking a bit of sting out of the Rams. Oh, uh, penalty Another there. Penalty. So yeah, that's a poor pass. Oh, good. Who was that? Who? I think Collard. Collard Hard. just scrambling, <laughs> just scrambling to hold on. It's just relentless, isn't it, Peter? Kakala again. God, he just got good go forward with him, hasn't he? Rolling again. Penalty. Into the chatter. Yeah, well done. So uh, maybe foot again. I, I think foot. Yeah, foot over the ball. You're um. Right. You got to be a brave man to put your head in some of those places, don't you? I don't know if me and you would have done it too. Well, no, no, no. you got to be strong. You got to be strong in the core, I guess, and just be prepared to stand there and take the hit, don't you? It's like, yeah, Ugh. it's not really us, is it? All right, that's right. a good kick. Now this is a, we've got a chance. We actually, uh, the, we, the Rams, need to need to get some points here. If they really believe that they've got a chance of winning this, they need seven points in this this foray into the uh, South Canterbury's area. Put a drive on here. When you look at the size difference, you think, ooh. Yeah, windows will go up, I think. No. Oh, foot overthrown. Or oh, overthrown, or foot not put up enough. South Canterbury playing with a lot of confidence, aren't they? They're certainly not prepared to kick the ball, are they, into the wind? They're happy just to. Oh, knock on there, though, from South Canterbury. No, ref didn't pick it, just. Yeah, he he's playing advantage. Oh, he is playing advantage. Sure, who hit, the, hit that ball up? Someone just driving that ball, tipping with a low pass. That's it. oh, <laughs> foot wearing one. <laughs> that was from Kakar from his opposite number, I think. Oh, no, oh. just going. So he does not going back for that knock on, obviously. So they're going backwards. Foot will be very sore, and that looks like Robinson's hurt a wrist as well. I don't know how bad, but Robinson is not look comfortable. It was a big hit on foot, wouldn't it? I don't it think was. he's been hit that hard. <laughs> I 
I really have no idea. It looks like Liam Rollins has been yellow carded, number two, the captain. Um, really? Yeah, uh, really lost on that. Sorry, uh, any any viewers, anyone who's bothering to listen to Peter and I, but uh, Liam Rollins, captain, yellow carded. So the third yellow card Car. now. So that's, that's 30 minutes yeah. of 14 men in an 80 minute game. That's pretty Again, tough. Yeah. So yeah, poor old Caleb Footy all his ribs will uh, his ribs will be a bit sore tomorrow morning based on that. Um, not even yeah, just I, I haven't even got a clue what that yellow card was for. I guess holding, but I mean they haven't been warned. No. It's uh, just yeah, just seems a little a little unjust. Ben Sheriff down there at the referees table. He's demanding to know what 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 that was for. Oh, tip tackle! Oh, was it? It's yeah. That's lifted them above the ah. above the horizontal, based on that uh, what the referee said there. So we totally missed that. Sorry, uh, viewers. I guess. Oh, Paddy Kane. Albert put Kane Tamo on. Yeah, great call, Kane Tamo out of the Tongariro club. Good halfback first five, but uh, got a pretty good halfback out there uh, to get rid of. Zane tipping. I guess Zane could go back to fullback. Yeah. That would be that would be the other thought too. Seven. That's a good. That's a good run by um, Finlay Joyce out of Tamuka Club. Another oh, look at that oh. running. Nirvana's line. It just hits, doesn't it? That's a good stop by Carney. Who was? That was Carney Dunster did the stop, but I think then he he's, he's probably didn't release, did he? Yeah, and then he rolled back over and fell fell back in. But those Dun Dunsters are never shy on coming forward. No, so um, fire with fire, you'll be loving this. But yeah, very hard to defend, isn't it, Peter? Just, you know, 100, 120 kilogram guys just running full steam. And, yeah. hit it and hitting flat, too. Yeah. They're not coming yep. from, they're just hitting it right on the advantage line. So George Burkett just warming up how the Eels, number 19, for, just looks like he's getting ready to come on. Right. Oh, oh, holy moly, we've got some. Wholesale <laughs> changes. Okay, All right, we've you going? got Vaka. Taliga coming on, also Junior Fayave, and I just in number 18. So, yep. should we call oh. that the bomb squad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, so yeah. Great and Dale coming on. So, the bomb squads come on. Let's see if this improves their line out any with the lift. And dare I say, they don't didn't get any smaller. Uh, no. Three big, oh, nice take there, Caleb. But he goes up and He's had so a impressive display Fahav, of the line Fahav, there, hasn't he? Fahavai, not a great start at hooker. Just threw it short. That's a great kick from tipping. That's what they need. But I'll go quick, though. Again, right, just goes quick. Oh. What I mean, he's... Molly, we've talked about him a bit. He's been dangerous. Both the wingers for South Canterbury have been very dangerous. Big, strong. Oh, that's, oh, that's a, a great good. straight line. Oh, danger here. Sevens, so that's Finlay Joyce, number seven, just driving it forward. A big run there, and I think for Ty Lange. Ty Lange. Oh, these, the Dane bomb. Chipping will be loving that. That's good. Don't know who did that wind is. Good tackle. 100 kg plus men running them. Zane Tipping will be loving it, won't he? <laughs> oh, Peter, they're, they're relatively impressive, aren't they, yeah, South they Canterbury? Are. There's, uh, there's not a lot of weaknesses there. Line out, you probably you probably pinpointed that as a as a as a weak area you could target, but yeah. holy moly, it's uh, it's relentless, isn't it? Oh, of course. Now they haven't got uh, Liam Rowlands here to throw the ball in. The all rounder Caleb Foot comes in and does that. Takes out a line out option though. Yeah, but I mean you got two hookers on the bench. So yeah. One for Carney so Carney Dunster has another enforced break, which won't. Uh, well, that, that's a straight swap. So Burkett is a straight swap. Or Carney. Yeah, so that's a straight swap. swap. So yeah, and I guess it's only if it's a scrum they have got to bring Barnes or you're Robinson. You've got Sam Robinson, who can play hooker as well. Yeah. So Caleb Foot. He's a very good number eight, but he's not a good hooker. Throw her in. Again. So Burkett's on permanently now for Dunster. 
Oh, this looks ominous. Burke is out of Taumaranui Eels. They went the wrong way there. We'll hit there by Fafita. Drives the ball up. Sure what happened there? They've lost the ball. Ford. <laughs> oh, that's a good ball. But oh, forward. Was forward. It did look a bit forward. Just lost its, lost its, uh, it, it good, um, structure, didn't it, the first yeah. half? It's just lost its structure a little bit the second half. Rollinson just warming up. I don't know if Kieran will be that, that excited about going out, uh, <laughs> facing some of these big boys. 16. 16 to Sam Robinson, so he comes on now to to cover, so they've got to take Drop. another player off. He's coming off. So someone has to come off, so Robinson's going in here as a hooker. So it's going to be one of the locks will come off. So are they, are they saying Barnes is the replacement prop? Good point. I guess. So is that Burkett? Looks like Burkett, who's just gone on, is going to be stood down now. Oh, yeah, I guess he will be. Or is that Gower? That might be Levis and Gower. No, that's Burkett. So, yeah, yeah, real uh, real thinking there on from the... At the end uh, of the day, we're still down to seven men in the scrum. Yeah. And Medlicott, number 22, Miles Medlicott out of Waimati. 67th game, he's just about to come on for South Canterbury. Oh, look at that, that's a... Oh, does that... It's hardly, I wouldn't have said he was on the mark. Full of running this South Canterbury team, and so you would be 38 14 up, 22 minutes, second half gone. Oh, geez, that last pass for South Canterbury just seems to go yeah. AWOL, doesn't it? I'd, I'd, uh, I'd love to see the stats at the end of this game of tackles made because they have had a lot of tackles. A big boot from Zip tipping. Tipping, oh, straight through, his, straight through his hands. That wind's definitely picked up. Picked up again, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh. Oh, I might. Oh, no, Zane's all right. Yeah, no, he's eight. all good. That's 12, that's for Fita. He's a solid boy. Heartland, New Zealand Heartland rep last year. Yeah, last pass again, Peter. Good call. Yeah. Just just got very messy, hasn't yes. it? Yeah, it might just be a little bit of the drizzle coming in. 22, so that's Midley Cot coming it's on. Coming on on our monitor. It makes it a little bit hard to <sighs> see. And right, so what have we got here? Let's have a Falau. look. Falau. Falau coming on as well. Lissi Ati Falau out of Harlequins. Don't, don't really know Harlequins down in South yeah. Canterbury as a club. Uh, what have we got? Let's have a look. Yeah, we, Sam we, Robinson's uh, coming to hooker. So it was definitely Burkett. So Burkett, who'd just gone on, so gets taken off. <laughs> so... Miles Medlicott, 22. So, so this poor forward pack, they've had 30 minutes uh, where they've had seven of them against eight. Um, Makes it pretty tough, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially against a team like South Canterbury. Eh? <laughs> oh, look oh they've just pushed them straight over. That's eight versus seven. Oh, look at that. And this is, oh, giving it out. And that's 11. That's my, that's his, that's his uh, hat trick. So that's Matakai Ango. It's a hat trick in the second game for South Canterbury. Three tries. That's not bad. Um, Jerky started it again. Yeah, just dro drove. Carla just picked up. There's a fantastic scrum against seven players, and that's what sadly happens. Yeah, just the wind's taken out of our sails a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. We were the first twenty. We were a little bit excited. The crowd's just a little bit down, isn't it? But mm, uh, a bit, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's, yeah. When you look at Kakala running back, you think, well, no wonder he's creating so much carnage in that the back of the scrum. Yeah, and, and Kakala, you know, this is his 35th game for, for South Canterbury, so he's been around a long time. He's your man coming on. It's Keza, Keza, Keza Rollinson. He's, I don't know if he'll be, uh, I don't know if he'll be that thrilled. <laughs> we got right, right, taking the conversion again. Just that oh. wind just whistles through. <laughs> Lockie, <laughs> Lockie the cameraman and Temple Productions just freezing here, shivering away. So but really it, just got Kane Tamo and Nick Barnes off the bench, really now. Last two on the bench. Yep. That's a nice kick. He's just floated that in beauty. Oh. And off the upright. <laughs> Lovely there by William Wright. That's his fifth conversion today. 
lot of beanies around today. I think that gives you a clue. Okay, so Rollinson's on. Rollinson's just come on. Just trying to work out who he's who he's replaced. Molly Moffy's come on. I think it's Baven Brown. I think yeah. Rollinson's on for Baven Brown Jr. Look at this. It's just it's just relentless. That's our Monaco Rovers man, Ahu Kovi. Ah, so Kane Tamu's on at half. Oh, back. Tamo Zane gone on as well. On to Go Rollinson. Oh, he had a chance there. So Tamo's. Yeah, run us through, Peter. Run us through yeah, these. We might just take stock of, <laughs> just because there are some positional changes as well. <laughs> Zane, on, Tipping has moved, Zane Tipping has moved to fullback. Yep. Kane Tamu at number 22 has come on for him at halfback. Yep. We've got Kieran Rollison who's come on to the right what? wing. Yep. Um, and, and he has replaced Baven Brown Jr. And Joseph Vata Molly Mothy is also off. Uh, Wickham Darlington has moved into centre. I'm surprised they've taken Molly Molly off. I think he was injured. Injured. And, and, and I think Liam Rollins is back on, so Burkett's back on as well. So they uh, restored back to 15. Yep. So Rams are back to full strength. Um, so yeah. Sam Robinson's come to the bench again. Sitting on the bench. I'm guessing we've got Sam Robinson and Nick Barnes. So not on the field yet. Oh, Cam, Cam, um, yeah, Cam Robinson getting a chance, so you, Nick Barnes hasn't come on yet. Gotcha. It's just a loose bouncing ball there, Cam Robinson just managed to, to grab that. So where's Wickham Darlington playing? Centre, I think. He's at centre, yep. Center. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of changes, a lot of head scratching there. Well handled, Peter. When would Kieran Robinson have last played? Win, yeah, not... Wing. not like, like we said though, that's that 5-2 split, isn't it? It just leaves you a bit, bit light if there's injuries. And you think Molly Molly was, was an injury, Peter? Yes, I think so. All right. Rams just with some ball. Probably the first time this half they've actually had some possession. Tipping from the back at fullback. Is Burkett just Burkett. giving that? He won't pass it to... Doesn't pass it to Rollinson. Rollinson's driving in there like, a, like an extra loose board. A big foot, big oh, that is <laughs> big foot. <laughs> My goodness, who was that who got hit? That was Bradley Jeffries. He didn't get set up by his teammate from Pew Pew, but he got hit hard. His windows going, he's, he's been going all day, isn't yeah, he? Old he red, head, red head gear. Oh, we've got the tent falling over at the other side, that's blowing over. Tamo, nice pass. He is a, he is a good halfback. Oh, that's a nice... Kieran yeah. Rollinson, what's he got? Guy oh, he just didn't have the wheels. His little white legs just peddling away, but just didn't quite get there. Okay, we've got some more changes. So number 20, we've got Lonnie Tomohuni out of Waimati Club, his 40th game, just coming on. Etienne Van Ziel, I would say, he's coming on for. Substitution for South Canterbury, number 20. Lonnie... You'd Van Ziel, you'd picked South African? I did, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah nice, Peter. Yeah. Okay, you've been dogging the line out all, uh, yeah, all game. Let's see what they've got. Not bad. Oh, not bad. Windows had a crack, didn't he? It's your number eight again, just settling it down. Yeah, like you say, I, I, I don't really remember them having the kick. This is probably one of the few kicks, and you can see why. It's... Strong, strong wind up there. It's actually not a bad kick, really, in that wind, just to get it. <sighs> All right. It's not often I want a game of rugby to finish, but we've got 10 minutes to go, and I'm like an, I'm like an icicle. <laughs> That's good line-out. That is King, King Country, to be fair. Oh, Rollins. Oh, oh, Rollins and oh, Tully, didn't in trouble there. <laughs> Cut back into the big, the big boys and kind of slowed down. He's Bradley Jeffries. Last time he carried, he got smashed. And uh, he's Cam Robinson. He's, he's had a solid game. He's he's been under a lot of pressure, Cam you've Robinson. Got to, you've got to also say it's almost a size thing, isn't it? And I know that's probably not the greatest way to. But big big man or big good man will be the good little man. Is that what you're saying? It's eventually got it out. But oh, yeah, that's, oh, it's oh that's no, fair. that's a high tackle. Yeah. So it was a, a loose swinging arm, high tech. Oh, it didn't hurt him though. Got him around the, yeah, probably around the throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
got to be yellow, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's very lovely to see. I'm not sure who who, you, who did it, but uh, just uh, panning Collard saying sorry, but sorry doesn't mean a yellow card, unfortunately. <laughs> So 45, 14, 31 minutes gone. It's a big call from King Country. 30 points. Have they got 30 points in them in 10 minutes, Peter? Talking about the big call to the car at scrum. Yeah, but have, have they oh. got 30 points? Well, you never know, Andrew. You oh. never know. So, yeah, so Nick, Nick Barnes looks like he, uh, he he might not, he's not even warming up, so he might not be getting the run. He'll be angry. Yeah, he will be. Surprises. But they're obviously just struggling for, for props if, he, if he's the reserve prop. He's, he's not quite rep level prop size, is he? Good hooker. Yeah. I guess so too when your captain's Liam Rollins, who's a 80 minute man. It does make it pretty hard to look to take him off, especially after he spent 10 minutes in the bin, I guess. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? Oh, eight minutes to go, and the weather, if possible, has got colder. Hey, look, but we'll have a dab. Kane Tamo, Tamo will have a dab. Yeah, don't know, T -T Tamo not one of the great runners. Good distributor, not a not a not a good runner. But we're going to go little left, right, and I'm put wrong. And Tamo makes some yardage here. Little uh, poor pass from foot, but under pressure again. The scrum going backwards. Mm. Just even the even the attacking defence, eh? from South Canterbury, it's just, driving, isn't it? there will be some sore, sore bodies in that King Country team and they'll be going to training going, oh hell, we got Wong Nui next week, who probably are very similar. What's up? And now obviously with a bit of a disjointed back line from all the injuries. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's Winders. Got Winders, got Winders got winded. So there's Tipping just spotting, oh, a, a, spotting a little tackle. gap, but just a lovely tackle there, scythe down. Yeah, and they've got, oh no, knock on. Just a knock on. Nice if there was some play over near towards us. I could just about, I wonder if Woody, who's the manager, also runs on Delaney Park. I wonder if we could afford to put some lights on. It's uh, it's quite it's quite dull here, isn't it? By the time they warm up, I think the game will be over. <laughs> Certainly has got a bit bitter and a bit dark. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's, certainly, it's certainly not a day that uh, you has, has done Topo any favours about it being a, a tourist destination, is it? It's, oh, no. it's, it is bitter. Right. So 45-14, six to go, six minutes to go in this uh, Heartland Championship, Bunnings Warehouse Heartland Championship game. Brought to you by Penny Homes and Paparata Farms. TLC Insurance, also sponsors of the King Country Rams. Scrum down here, if you look at the King Country back line, we've got a first five on the right wing, we've got a half back at full back, and we've got a full back at centre. So a few injury issues that dog King Country in the second half. Let's see if they can turn it into points. Yeah, yep, good call Peter, good analysis. But like we say, just uh, three, three sin bins. Three forwards and bin, so 30 minutes of uh, 40 players. Rollinson calling for it really wide. It's actually not a bad call. He's out wide on his own. He's unmarked. One of those little kick passes. Yeah, it could be. Oh. Who's that hit again? Windows. Poor Windows. <laughs> he has been spanked. There's a kick pass. Just, uh, oh. no, just not forward there. Not too bad, oh, must be advantage. Oh, who got for that? Yeah. So just Did you take yeah. three here, Andrew. No, just it's lost its, lost its way big time in this game, sadly. Yeah, has a bit in it. Yeah. Just, uh, tap and go, tap and go to the right. Tamo, he's gone. Move the ball. I, watch do, you feel, the I do feel for the uh, tight forwards of the King Country team. <laughs> They've been asked to just. Knock it up and they'll be knocked. That was Estel Harris taking that ball up. Tamo just just Too trying to right. trying to pick things pick things up a little bit, but No oh. Foot out wide. Oh, is that wrong to them in the deep? 
again there was a mess of hit now, wasn't Robinson? That wasn't Robinson. Who was it who got who got cleaned up? Um I think it was Gow. Everson Gow. Go Lonnie. I don't really know Rene Derwin who Lonnie is, but go Lonnie, whoever Lonnie oh Lonnie number twenty out of Waimati. Well done. Good to have you listening down there in South Canterbury. A bit surprised they even get internet down there still, Peter. Oh, Hendrick's going to the start. <laughs> oh, I've been told off for that one. Sorry, uh, all the residents of South Canterbury. Lovely part of the country. <laughs> Four, three and a half minutes to go. 45-14, South Canterbury. Just The game has just meandered desperately in the last 15 minutes. Uh, just... A lot of changes, a lot of niggly injuries, just, uh, yeah, South Canterbury too big, too strong. Going oh, deep, that's a, oh, of course. They're sick of their line-out being picked off, so they'll go deep for the, and who was it? Yeah, Kakala. Kakala, and of course he makes some metres. They must be, they'll be having nightmares about him, the King Country Lucies, won't they? They'll be what? on him in the uh, Heartland Championship, won't we? Yeah, they'll they be. Great rugby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, there's your first five-term winger, Peter, Kieran yeah. Rollinson. He grew he grew three inches to pluck that out of the year, so Kieran your Rollinson. Try that really number hasn't. Number 23, Kieran Rollinson. Scored there. Yeah, third one against the run and play. Oh, well, yeah. they were on the tack, but yeah. Oh, lovely photo too, Kieran coming up on the screen. He looks very staunch, doesn't he? Arms. <laughs> Kieran, you'll be pleased with that. We'll hear a lot about that tonight from uh, young Kezer, or old Kezer as he is now. So Quinn Collard, he'll get this. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's a nice finish. 45, what's that? 45 21. All right, two minutes to go. Successful conversion to Quinn Collard. Yep, two minutes ago, the crowd, crowd leaving in their droves. Oh, right. So any any updated scores, Peter? Any any final scores in the other games? Uh, final score, East Coast 19, Mid Canterbury 8. Oh, nice. That kick doesn't go 10 metres. Nice result for East Coast, that's a good result. Any other surprising scores there? Wanganui 13, Buller 5. Very tight down there in Westport. Holy moly, yeah, that's uh, West Coast 41, Horofano Capity 23. Mm, okay. Uh, North Otago 50, Warrapa Bush 3. That tell you that North Otago is going to be strong this year in the Heartland. Yep, one of the props here. One of the, one of the props just getting some treatment. Kings Valley 24, Poppy Bay 12. Okay, yeah, so it's uh, kind of the, you can kind of see the the splits, can't yeah. you? Yeah. The, the atypical teams coming out, aren't they? Yep. So, just final minutes here. Um, 45-21 South Canterbury over the Rams. Peter, Rams didn't really have a... haven't really looked like winning, but no, they've taken no, some opportunities, but yeah. they've competed all right. Yeah, I think they have. I think, you know, you look at the South Canterbury team, they are Massive forward back in there, even in the midfield, they've got massive runners in there. And I think um, King Country have scrambled really well in defence. Yeah, they've, uh, they've been p pinged a little bit out wide a couple of tries, eh? You know, if, if, if they'd just been able to defend those, but then uh, on Scrum's the flip. has been under pressure as the game's gone on. Line out's been impressive. Yeah, and, and the flip side is the King Country tries have all been opportunistic, okay. but. Yeah. Um, you know that you've got to create those opportunities, and uh, yeah, it's if you're, if, you know if you're losing that contact, if you're losing the collision side of it, you've got to try something, and hey, it's worked for King Country. They've got three tries from yeah. Chinoon. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sharon Kane. Nothing, nothing wrong with a bit of a bit of nastiness back at us, us bloody North Islanders. No, South Canterbury, you've deserved this victory. You've been uh, definitely the better team, bigger, better, stronger team. Um, oh. Well done, you guys. Zane Tipping just knocks it on down the back there. Um, love my times. I've come down to South Canterbury. Um, hated losing to you, but uh, always enjoyed it. Um, and I know you've got internet down there. Well, I think you have. <laughs> 
So just the last uh, last rights here. Um, Willie, <laughs> Willie Wright is my dad. Well done, Willie Wright. He, he's a good man, Willie Wright. Been a uh, very, very good player for South Canterbury for many years. Great to, great to see you watching your dad on, on TV. Well, what is it? The internet. Live stream. All right, last right to last scrum. What does South Canary do? Do they have another crack or do they just say, hey, enough's enough? No, they'll have a crack. Peter, they've cracked all day and from deep, that's pretty <laughs> laboured. <laughs> and 23 for Lau, just... Uh, oh. This was a little bit off off with his uh, timed run there. Let's see one more one more go Shooter from. Shooter hasn't gone yet, has it? No. Let's see one more one more crack from South Canterbury. So, yeah, take takeouts from this, Peter. I think defended well. Um, defended foot well. Line out line out was good. Yep. Like like the line outs. Um, I haven't seen enough of the back line to really no, have a no, have a comment. I do feel that they just didn't get enough of the ball to be that interesting to see the stats on. Not so much territory, but possession. Yeah. You know, uh, King Country had a fair bit of territory, in fairness. Um, but possession-wise, South Canterbury have just dominated it. And really, just that last sort of pass has just gone a little bit AWOL. And yeah, Mully Mully. Pretty Molly, dominant. Mully Molly, they hope, if, if you think that was an injury, you hope that's not, not too serious. Um, so, yeah, a couple of couple of good games of rugby. It's, uh, yeah, it's been a cold cold afternoon here down in, uh, or up in Taupo, so... Um, but congratulations to South Canterbury taking home the spoils and the scrum demolished again. Still lots of talk in there. That's Windows. He has gone hard all day, hasn't he? Yeah. It's just driven and driven with his little red head headgear. Yeah. I take it there's no hooter. No, there will there definitely will be a hooter. They just uh I wonder if Peter Roberts has fallen asleep <laughs> down the referees there. Who <laughs> want me to go and check on? <laughs> That's out, so they'll get one more line one out, more I think. Crack. One more line out, 45 21. Two, and two minutes 47 after the 40 minutes is up. Liam Rollins, he's full of running, or well, he should be. He had 10 minutes sitting down. Go to the back, Willie away, have a crack at the first. Oh, no. Carla's standing out there at first five. <laughs> nah, I don't know if you'd be wanting to take that on. Again, again in the front. Windows will be getting this. No, foot again. That's a poor throw, but for, uh, no, foot's poor throw, poor execution. Oh, this is very messy. Let's end this ref. Yeah, that is the game over. So, messy second half. 45 21, South Canterbury undefeated for their 23rd game in a row. 45-21 over King Country Rams here at Owen Delaney Park. On behalf of Peter and I, thank you very much. Uh, good day of rugby. Peter, final comment. Yeah, no, great day of rugby, actually, too. Uh, cracking games from um, the Big Horns and the King Country Rams. Uh, congratulations to South Canterbury. They certainly deserve the win. They look in ominous form probably for the season, too. Um, and, yeah, yeah, great day here at Owen Delaney Park. Cheers. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you again, folks. Oh. Thanks very much to Penny Rose oh. and Papa Rata Farms. Let's say sponsors today.